So, let's see. Party, I think. No, part, what was was party her? Yeah, okay. Yeah, probably was her. Um, cry. Oh, we're in cloud, but also would have worked. Yeah. Um, promise. Um, smile. Uh, childhood. Uh, sadness. Um, maybe jumpy. She was always like skipping and something. Yeah, like but that. it's a cute word though. Is my only concern with that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured. Um, shoot, we're gonna have joy. I think probably. Um, peace. I need to remember is Natsuki for some reason. Wasn't was fancy. Sayori? No, fantasy was Yuri. Remember, because oh. she likes deep and complex fantasy worlds. What is her one on this one? There always has to be one for each character. Excitement? Yeah, it could be excitement. It's, it's complicated. Okay. Um, shopping. She has depression, but that's Yuri. Wonderful, maybe? Okay. Um, clouds. Oh, I've done, I've done <laughs> that. I've done that every time. Get? Listen, it clouds, because she talks about rain clouds all the time, and that doesn't make any How sense that clouds. clouds I don't know. It doesn't that make any not, sense. Friends. Well, it's simple, but it's not cute words. Um, play. No, playgrounds. Natsuki. Skipping should be her. S freaking Natsuki. <laughs> um, happiness. Um, silly. silly. Bed. Bed, yep. Um, uh. Dance, maybe? Could be, There's or I was, I was thinking raindrops also. as well, yeah. What, Yuri? Yuri. Excuse me. It's, when did you uh, like really, that? I'm really concerned that we didn't get her here. Treasure, none of these seem like her. Misfortune... Could be because she's like always clumsy and falling. Like she's always, I don't know. Nature, I feel like is Yuri. Cute is obviously not so good. No, cute was fun. Siri. Uh. Bubbles, cute, and vanilla are all Natsuki. Passion. I don't know. And cable is Yuri. Nature's Yuri. Treasure, I don't know. Crimson's Yuri. Misfortune, I think, is also Yuri. So basically, the entire left side is probably Yuri. I think we try fun. Yeah, okay, yes. good, good. Uh, sunny. She likes sun. Yes. Uh, warm, essence, nimble, hope. I think hope was one of them, yeah. right? Great, okay, yes. we. Sh I think we got it that time. Hopefully. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Yeah, we, ca I th we kept on getting Natsuki. Yeah, I'm hoping we didn't get Natsuki. Okay, this is all the same, I assume, because we can skip it. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everyone is back to everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact, eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Siri. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna go for Siri. So this is the, this is the part where she's kind of like sad and goes home early. This is your best one so far. It's really nice. Okay, so we got her again. Nice. Yes. Uh, thanks. Mhm. Mm Siri, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything all right? Uh, uh, of course. Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a bit tired today. <laughs> You want a nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, alright. Hey, Ethan. I'm still a little surprised. I, I really I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the, like the way Yori does. Or even Natsuki. We don't care about either of them. <laughs> nah, Yori is scary and Natsuki hates us. But in the end... Yeah? I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? You, you don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait, of course I do. But that doesn't mean I need 
to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Eric. I know you have to sometimes put up with me. And I have to sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength or something. And this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only the only exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it just it's just easier to write than think write when thinking about you. Sorry? N no. I, I I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sorry has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Huh. Siri. I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Siri, I probably never said this before, but I can't un I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me tell me what will cheer you up. Sherry shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It, it's nothing, Ethan. It's just a little rain, rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. Uh -huh. I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a bit early today. Sorry. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sorry cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Okay. We'll go after Monica. Uh, okay, that's part. Some of those parts the same. Anyway, let's take a look at the uh, at today's poem. Sure, I'll let Monica take the poem. I'm holding my hands. Uh -huh. That's kind of funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and series poems have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? Uh, I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing as much of her th this past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me. About how Siri's been a little off today. Yeah? Did she tell you something? Uh, well... You haven't, f you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Uh, of course not. I've been treating her like I always do. Alright. Just making sure. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. Sorry's been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. Uh, this is the same. Yep. Uh, okay, this is the same. Great! Uh, going at Suki. Because Zeri's not even going to want to talk to us, probably. Yeah. This one's alright. Alright. Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad you're try trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems, anyway? Isn't that, the more, isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? N no! Gross! It's not like I care. Just that one of us in the club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you're? What if you ended up just scaring me away? That's um. It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. Gugh. Atsuki el elbow connects with my stomach. Oh, maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> How the heck do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was a funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway, Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing even happened. Ah, uh, well, this one we read before, too. But it's not funny. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice... Okay, so this is the same. You've been writing funny ones. Yeah, I like your funny ones, Natsuki. What happened? Alright, uh, Yuri's yeah, not gonna care. Gonna be like, oh, she's not gonna hi, care. Yuri doesn't look too enthusiastic about spending time with me. I guess if she changes her mind, she'll come to me. But I should leave her a bee for now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she didn't want to talk to us. Okay. Alright, this is the same. We can skip it. Okay, so this is the choice of who we want to spend time with for the weekend. We immediately went to Natsuki. 
Let's go for Sayori's option. Yes. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? No. no. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be so difficult. Just think of the club, okay? <laughs> She's not an option. Well. Okay, Monica. Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yay, you picked me. Hold on one second. Yeah. Monica, you're the one you're the one who needs to be who needs the least help out of all of us. Eh? This again. But I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work always most suitable for one person, but you always have Sayori as well. But Ethan was the one who Ah. Uh, that doesn't matter. You were the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you shouldn't want any ulterior ulterior mo mo motives motives and feel with this decision. Ulterior motives? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Excuse me. Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do. You know, we won't we won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Ah, maybe that that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If we want our band to succeed, then we need to appropriately di dis distribute distribute our resources. Um, uh... So are you gonna do the right thing, President? Okay, okay. I get it. Huh. <sighs> it's technically most logical for Ethan to help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Do you have a preference, Ethan? <laughs> okay. So we did not Suki, so we'll go Yuri, I guess. Yeah. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. M me Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki. I can already tell you're about to say something mean. N no I was just saying. Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Ethan? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be just fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki's feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should do. That should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word, but I'll, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Ethan? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki. What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no, that's not why I'm at all. Uh, Yuri anxiously glances between everyone else in the room. I I'm sorry for this. I, I don't really know why Ethan picked me. Purely because we've already done Natsuki's race. Yeah, and plus she said that. And Monica and Suri were not options, so. Yeah, and also your cupcakes. Your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I ever had. They'll go really well with my tea. And nothing that I can do for the event will compare to that, so... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. W why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I know, I'm not really good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. And Suki isn't the one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri is trying to sound like Sayori. Even if I didn't even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at the time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No. I kinda appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm gonna but I'm gonna say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Uh, I believe you. Yeah, hope to see everyone do their best. 
But with that, there's nothing more for today, so I guess it's time to, for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out of the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um... Eh? I turn around. Sorry. I realize I don't have any way of... Con con contacting. Contacting you this weekend. Uh, oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. You and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then, I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? I is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I'll be going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Ah, uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decided not to press Yuri for, for some reason. It's not like it, it should matter each much of either way, but I'll need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Ethan. I think that we'll make a very prod productive productive team. Even if you only choose, uh, even, even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. No, we again, we chose you just because <laughs> Natsuki's are already done, so Monica and Sarah were not options, so yes. you're literally the only you're one You're the left. only option. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I wanted to do. But, but... Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Uh, I, I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri, Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. I guess this position is the only position that you're always actually looking at us. No, she's kind of looking, but her, like, other eyes slightly looking away. So, yeah, she's, like, 70% closed. It's Monica who's It's Monica that all of her posts... No, well, here, my main point is, all of them have a... I'm, I'm sure... I think Natsuki also has, like, a look where she's slightly looking at us. But yeah. all of the other characters have a part where they're looking away from, like, the screen. Monica's never... Yeah, Monica's never has that. does that. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out of the door and Yuri follows. Okay, so here we can skip this. Even though I would be, I prefer to do this with Sayori, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty useful, used to handling her at this point, but who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. I wonder if you're nervous that Sayori finds out about this. It's not like we have that, feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, it's all about the club. I have nothing to worry about. I'll just go with it, I'll have a good time. Alright, so we're done with poems, so we don't have to worry about doing that anymore. It's already Sunday! I don't believe it. Okay, so we're gonna skip. Oh. I've been increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it, but it doesn't help much. Yuri's clearly an introvert and also and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've never we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside Okay, now I think we can skip it. Okay. This is the part where we go to Sayori. So the same. Like I said, it would stop us when we, when it's at a part where we can do it. Alright. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Uh-oh. Uh, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You could always text you could have always texted me. If I had known I would have reassured you and hurried and hurried up more on my way home. Ah, uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. 
It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around anxiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before we came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no, I would really have been embarrassed if my room was such a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I will... I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh, that would have been more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there! I snatched Yuri's wrist, and, which was in the process of opening a desk door of mine. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in my, in her laps, as if making sh sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help me. Decorations and other... Uh, atmospheric. Atmospheric. Enhancements. <laughs> enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, moonlighting. I have no clue. Candles. Um, Can no, yeah, candles. Books. <laughs> Some kind of weird candle. Oh yeah, speaking of books, he said, why is he just have weird books that he doesn't even read books? No, that's probably anime. That's probably exactly what that is. They're, they're either anime books or anime DVDs. Mm. Oh, well. oh wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I wanted to help take our guests to a fairway place. Although, many will stop by just out of curiosity and for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense. I guess that's the best word to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is, is that so? That makes me feel relieved. Relieved? Relieved. Same thing. No, it's not. Relieved is not a word. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be anxious. You can relax a little. Relax? I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during this poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happened to have these... these in my bag. I plan to, to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's with the wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for... Essential. Essential oils. How familiar are you with... I assume with, that... Um, a ramp... A ramp... Of I don't know. It's. I think it's what it is, is like... Using essential oils to like calm down or something. Yeah. I, I, it's like a therapy. It's, that's why therapy's in the name, so I don't know. Not familiar at all, because I don't even know the word. Ah, is that... Oh. Oh, yeah. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite... Contributes Contributors to, to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel feel it permeate perme permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spread out a small hole in the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is jasmine es essential, essential. Oil. essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way of just to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine 
enhances your enhances enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that it would be perfect for showing our poems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Oh, your smile's only. I thought maybe it's something that was mine or something. Uh, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spool spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Jeez. Gosh. A oh, hundred? Yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang them from the doorway of a classroom. Then we can fasten the paper on onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Won't that be beautiful? It would, it would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Ethan. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri un unravels a long strand of red ribbon to the desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves in etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, uh well... Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know. If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. Yes, as everyone yes. is into knives. You said this before, Yuri. And that's why I tried to avoid you. I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. A combination of craftsmanships and feeling of danger maybe you what was i saying please don't think i'm weird of this <laughs> you're laughing at me no i'm not laughing at you it's just funny how nervous you get about sharing it's well it's an interesting thing to be into i guess and i think it's kind of suits you suits me yeah it's kind of intense besides it's really cool looking knife i can't deny that it, it is isn't it you relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Your carefully holds me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious how the sharpness I can f I feel the joint of the n point of the knife on my index finger. Because that's really, really smart thing to do. Yes. Is here's a very sharp object. I'm going to put my finger into it. Ow! Ethan, why did you do that? <laughs> exactly. Why did you do idiot. that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. It's almost like it's a f knife. A knife so sharp. I barely touched it at all. It, it, it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like if it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're screaming, she'll go wash it off now. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth. Why is this happening all the time? Whoa. Yuri puts her finger in my mouth and licks the wound. I feel her tongue around my finger. Startled, I in instinctively pull my hand back. Uh, oh, please, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I. You just need basic common sense. Yuri lowers her head and f her face burning up. Yuri... 
That's the most embarrassing thing I ever done. Is it? Is it? Is it? How could I do something like that? I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, sure it was a little weird and it took me by surprise, but I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yeah, I think you're overreacting a little. She doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? <laughs> that's not, for this character, that's not a good first line. This might be a little stupid thing to do, but I'll do it anyway. I'll take your hand and, and lick her index finger in turn, because that's it's completely normal to do. So weird. Did you really just do that? And now we're even. <laughs> now we're even? I don't think that's how revenge works. Yuri just looks at me that, as if I did something wrong. Cause you did. Yeah, you did, you freaking idiot. I knew that would be a bad idea. Then why'd you do it? Then why'd you do that? If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. Y you're so weird, Ethan. You know, to be fair, Yuri, you're the one that started it. Yep. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your ba- Oh. Where did you keep your bandages? <laughs> Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities as if nothing happened as just two minutes before. Happened. I watched Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I'll continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay each of them si side by side. It looks better than I expected, and we will have will be very effective as the door as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, oh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the? Well, to be class? fair, anything creative has already been done before, so yeah. Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Oh, that's right. One of the items Yuri had me had had asked me to buy was a was a kit of watercolor paint paint tablets. We would need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much. It would be too... Diluted. Diluted. You like to paint, you should know that word. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I only paint on paper. Yeah, but still, it has. It, paint can be diluted if too much water is added to it. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Oh, your face looks red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let me fix the paint. Let's mix the paint. Let's mix the paint, gosh. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient, gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. I I got a quote for you. I like breakfast. I like. That's, I, I want breakfast. I I mean, listen. That's that's the most inspirational quote you can get. Yeah, I want breakfast. Skip the whole all oh, your the path is paved with gold or whatever. Skip all those motivational yeah, skip quotes. Yeah, all that. Do I you, want breakfast. I want breakfast. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it would be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposing sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a coloring guide uh, when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class project we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry if it feels too childish. No, I didn't mean like that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. It is fun. 
I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops panting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like it when I can spend time with one or another person. Even if it's something simple, like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk too much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a bit nicer. I think that's all it takes me to be happy. Is that so? Even if you and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I can feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply staring at sharing an experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you could understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an, an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Kia. Kia, I think. Kia. So sorry. Yuri reels back and then quickly lifts my hand, hands in surprise. Are you hurt? N no, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. I is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out of the... I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and, and neck with the towel. Uh, Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Yeah? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Uh, I keep my hands still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost, lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little bit... a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain slightly forced to ignore the events that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish... F Filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a, as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be... The be best to leave it here, then then you bring it in the, in the morning, and I can do the lettering in the classroom before the, our events start. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's any more for us to do here. Phew. Uh -huh. You see that, that it's glad that, that you're glad it's over. Because I want to assume that you will at least enjoy yourself a little bit. Ah, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we could have extra time after finishing the work. Well... Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would be too... Irresponsible. Irres irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all the things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I don't understand why. It sounds like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is, this is the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk, her out, I walk her out of the front door. Thank you 
you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring in tomorrow. I will. Well then. You're a fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait! I kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whatever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Ah, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Ethan. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well, I was supposed to respond to that. But I don't even get a chance as Yuri suddenly pulls back. S Sayori. Eh? Ah. Uh, hi, Ethan. Sayori? Just now, just now, we weren't... Yeah, good cover-up. Hehe. <laughs> It's okay, Ethan. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm only on my way to leave. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be, be together at the festival tomorrow, so, so... So that's fine, right? Of course. Sorry, Beams. Yeah, yeah so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hur hurries off. Siri waves goodbye after her. Okay, this is the same. We do have one last choice, and I think that's it. Yes. And we went down the full Siri path. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm going to save it here, though, just in case. Uh, I don't think anything will happen, but just in case. Empty slot. Okay, great. So we've picked uh, yeah, you Always Been My Dearest one. Friend, which uh, was not the correct choice. It was not correct, so we've got this. I love you. Those are my true feelings. There's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone else at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you truly are the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll, be both, we'll both be happy. Ethan. Suddenly, Suri wraps her arms tightly around me. Is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sarah in my arms and pull her closer. You never need you you'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Ethan. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sarah's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sari? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Ethan. It's okay, Sari. It might take time for things to get better again, but no matter how long it takes, I'll, always, I'll be here every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Uh, okay. I, I trust you. Sari and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? What are you saying? I didn't want to think about the, those things, you know. I didn't want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we were all a couple, I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Ethan. Sarah gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Eh? I don't really understand what Siri means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Siri? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't understand what I'm feeling. If it, it felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me that you loved me, but that's why I wanted to trust you. You know that's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but I'm, in reality, I've never been—I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me, but I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by wanting everything to change? I don't know, but I know that I'll give it—give it everything I got. 
She is the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to to have a happy future with her. So yeah, that's a bit different. <clears throat> Alright, this part's unfortunately- Stop pressing that button. Unfortunately, this part's the same, so... Just gonna skip. Oop. Oh, well, the banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently wrote it up and take it with me. She sent me a, pre a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I re reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. Okay, so this is, this is the same. Is this the same? There it is, Natsuki snatches out of my hand. No, the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box to the... Wait, didn't we go after Yuri yeah, in what? the second act? Didn't we? Because now we're going after Natsuki, so now it's changing. Oh, shoot, we skipped some text. That's fine. Seeing a, bo seeing a box full with one box missing is probably the most infuriating sight in the world. <laughs> I know that feel, bro. I get a closer look at the box she's admiring. Parfait girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Ethan. Consider this a lesson- Don't judge a book! Don't judge a book! In fact, when Tika pulls out the first file on Perfect Girls from the box, I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah! I show the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. We haven't seen that before. It's six- Exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there. Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall and beneath the w windowsill. She puts it on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Hey, yeah, why's that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Just don't say that. It'll make me feel weird about it. And she cross her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again re inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I, than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm. You don't go back to the flip? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can't. So I can talk at the same time. Looks like it's about a, a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's more. It's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Are you sure this isn't boring you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read. Well, I'm, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you sharing something you like it with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy, even though I literally have never read a book in my life. You know what I mean? Hmm? You don't? Um, it's not Well I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. Hmph. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga's for kids. Can't even bring it up without them being all like, "Eh, you haven't gone out of grown out of that yet." Makes me want to punch him in the face. Look, like, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who aren't into it. Who are into it? I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the crap out of me if he found this. <laughs> At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it, and I'm just the founder of greatness. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So... <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped through the page. Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet, quiet now. I glance over at her. It looks like she's st started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Yeah? Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. Hey! Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> that ain't creepy whatsoever. Oh, it's still going. Yep. Yeah, so that's different. Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Here. 
Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give... She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Ethan. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag. <laughs> She's a freaking pet. Alright. Anyway, why don't we all sh share poems now? Great! Gosh. Thanks, Monica. You're the best. Uh, we'll go up to Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if, if I shared mine with her first. Do, 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 do. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Natsuki reweighs my poem. Never mind, I don't really feel like giving you my opinion. Eh? Then what's the point of sharing the poems in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. In fact, remember how I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Okay, so this is the same, so we're going to skip it. People can try, but that's about it. Yes. Uh, just, I don't like yours, so we're, yeah, <laughs> we're going to go to Monica. Yeah, hey, Monica, yeah, how's it going? Have such a good time so far. Good, glad to hear it. The new and everything, I think these are the same. Um... Let's see, so, okay, so, uh, Rainbow, Lucky, Vanilla, Awesome, Hair, uh, Sing, uh, Smile, Party, uh, Twirl, Skirt, Skipping, Kawaii, Games, um, and Anime, Swimsuit, uh strawberry. Yeah, strawberry. Sweet. Uh cheeks. Poof. Poof. Hop. We got all of them. Nice. Got all of them. Perfect score. Yeah, which is now Perfect. Yeah, which is avoiding Yoi now. <laughs> Pretty much. Cause she's scary. Actually I don't know if it's today. It might be the next day. Hmm. Well it's not terrible. But it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your first last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone is in the club in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you're spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Yeah? Wait a moment. So, See? I can't remember if I said this or not, but this is actually a coding language, Base64. Uh, so if you put this into Base64 decoder, I forgot what it actually says, but it says, it actually does say something. Oh, I think, oh, oh here's the part. Yes. Ethan, why did you come play, w read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. Gosh. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead. Okay? You don't hate me, Ethan, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home crying? She's crying blood right now. The club is the Gosh. only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. <laughs> Gosh. Please, just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. Gosh. <laughs> yep, there it is. That's the actually only jump scare in the game. And again! D-N-E. So that's why I was trying to gear you towards to go after Natsuki in the second act, but you were so consistent with going with Yuri, so we never saw that. Monica, like a special poem, why not? Some words. Yeah, there's hang on. N N O T H I N G. Nothing. Nothing is is real. Nothing is real. Question okay. mark. Question mark. Hmm. I think if you put this into a uh like uh, if you put this into Photoshop and enhance the brightness, I think the black lines actually do say something. Hmm. Then we're back. Okay. I mean the game's gonna push us in like that. What is this? <laughs> what? 
Wait a minute. That was never in the first game, unless I just didn't see it. Which has happened. They had blue... Hang on. They had blue eyes. Yeah, blue eyes. They had a blue... Bra or something? I don't know what that was. What... What I, um... Since you're since she's your character, have you been paying attention to what color eyes Sayori has? Is it blue? I think so. We can look at a pitch we can look at a pitch of the pill. Yeah, just Monica. Just Monica, just Monica. Yeah, just Monica, just Monica, just Monica, yeah. Just Monica. Uh just Monica. Yep, just Monica. Like I said, I wanna to try to avoid Yuri, but it's not really gonna work, is it? Ha <laughs> 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 Oh she was she was saying something. Oh, come on. There's, it. Well, there's things that are different each time, but there's no way to tell when it's gonna happen. I don't want she probably said, "Oh, like here's my poem." Oh, it's broke. Never mind. I don't want to. That's probably me. that's probably what she said. Yes, no. Things I like about Papa. Uh, like I like when Papa comes home early. I like when Papa cooks me dinner. I like when Papa gives me allowance. I like when Papa s spends time with me. I like when Papa asks me about my friends. I like when Papa asks me about anything. Uh, I, li I like when Papa gives me lunch money. I like when Papa comes home before sundown. Sundown? Okay. I like when Papa cooks. I like when Papa gives me privacy. I like when Papa doesn't tell me how to, how to dress. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my friends. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my hobbies. I like when Papa comes home without waking me up. I like when Papa keeps food in the house. I like when Papa uses his inside voice. I like when Papa leaves my stuff alone. I like when Papa a accidentally drops coins in the couch. I like when Papa is too tired to notice me. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. Boy. Sounded like a Natsuki poem. Alright. Skip the rest. Oh yeah, this is... Here, I'll, I'll, here, we chose Monica, but I'll try to go for Natsuki here. Nope. You chose the wrong one. I chose Yuri. <laughs> well, so I don't know. Uh, so, Isabel. So, here. So, we have uh, our choices are Monica. Monica. Uh, mm. Monica. Ooh, but this one's interesting. Monica. Uh, we got Monica, Monica, Monica. And my personal favorite, Monica. Uh, um, I think we're going to go with Monica. You know what? I would agree. <laughs> so, that was a little different than last time, I think. Just out of curiosity, I'm wondering if this is actually sick. Because you can go to history, the text history. Wait, what is this? Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make... So the history usually shows, like, the history of the text. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of things I love. Now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of chit-chat and fun activities with all my adorable and unique club members. Siri, the, the youthful... Bundle of sunshine who values happiness and the most. Natsuki, the deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch. You're the timid and mysterious one who finds comfort in the world of books. And of course, Monica, the leader of the club. That's me. I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help the literature club become a more intimate place for, every, for all my members. But I can tell you are, that I can tell already that you're a sweetheart. Well, you promised to spend, spend the most time with me. Welcome to the literature club. It's always been a dream. Oh, it just goes on again. Mm. What the heck? Whoa. Oh, and then it goes, yeah, then it's just, well, we promised to spend the most time with the week, well, we promised to spend the month. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I just wondered, because I wanted to know if this was actually saying something that we could see, but no, it's not. Because usually if when, this, when the text blacks out like that, you can go back in history and it'll say it, but, all right. So now, no, so now Sarah, Yuri, and Natsuki are all back, and Monica is gone. Uh, yeah, who she I does. That's it. That's it. I don't know what the blue thing next- I'll have to watch that scene back, because there's something else besides the eyes there. So, alright. New game, we can skip through all this until when Sari becomes self-aware. I assume we can skip it. Yes, we can! Great. We We're back! We this should be it. This should be it. So she's gonna sing her song again. Uh, can you hear me? No. Nope. No, we completely skipped over all that. Yeah, we skipped over that. We forgot. Like, at all. You know, she says she's not good at it, but she, write it, she wrote a whole song. 
I smell lies. She lying to us. Now, when you fix this picture, it actually is a promotional picture of Monica holding a poem out to you. It's actually pretty cool. But, side note. From what I understand, this is not skippable, so. Yeah, we just have to sit through the song. We'll let it play out again. Ah, so maybe it was broken the first time, because now it's here. That's what was supposed to happen the first time. Not sure what happened, but... So it's just gonna... Got that one. Cheap yes. and unlocked. We're looking for all these pictures to be colorful, and we got it. I'm hoping we didn't miss anything. Shoot. Wait, I, wait didn't we get that one? I swear we got that one. Yeah, okay, we got Yuri. So... Unless they removed it, in which case that'd be super sad. So, what does happen if you get all the pictures? I'll show you in a second if, it, if, it ha if it's still there. I hope it's still there. Unless they moved it to the side story, which one makes sense? Yeah, because we got that. Mm. Unless it maybe is remembering it's just not showing us. I'm holding on hope that we did it correctly. Cause that was such a cool feature when you, if like there's a the secret ending if you did it correctly. It was so cool to see that. Okay, we actually got Sarah's quest line here. Cause you can't do them all in one. It's impossible. So. <laughs> I love how someone's name is Jesus. Jesus Garcia. Got that one. That was the main one we were missing. Really, I'm holding on hope that it would be really dumb. It, it, it wouldn't make much sense for them to get rid of that second ending, because it had lore stuff in it too, which is why I wanted to show it. Please, hey, well, it's gonna give us a different poem if we did it correctly, or unless they removed it. No, they removed it. Mm! Unless they moved it into like one of the side stories. So this would it would give you a different poem. It was a longer one. It wasn't even a poem. I think it was a long. It was like a, just a book, essentially, and it was Monica saying, "Like, thank you for taking care of all the club members or whatever." Uh, I would have to read through it again or something, but it's weird they got rid of that. That's so. Yeah, if I was mission corrupt, yeah, that's so weird. That's kind of lame. I figured I was hoping something would be different there. Uh, well, here let's see if we got. Let's see what our new pictures say. Oh wait, we should have got a new uh, secret poem. Yeah, okay, so we got Siri. Better poem for Siri. Unless, and I hope this isn't the case, unless you actually need all these pictures. I don't want to go through two years of this game. Better poem for Siri in both the first and second poem games. Choose to help Yuri for festival prep preparations. Reply, I love you to Siri's confession. Yeah, because see, here, what's this title as? CGs character gallery maybe because that's that's what that's what is my concern is maybe you actually need but I'm so, what are these other pictures unless these are pictures from the uh, side stories which I can assume hang on what's this one of 11 oh not 11 I thought it was 16 one of 11 special poems Dito Silly selects random yeah okay yep the protagonist's bedroom that was new. Key art of Monica and Siri drawn by that person. That was originally planned to be official DDSC artwork. 
In Act 1, try both Siri and Monica for weekend help before choosing Yatsuki and Yuri. Ah, cool. The sketch of Siri's second character... I don't know what CG means. Cut out and, all, and aligned with the angle of background. Because the backgrounds were first rendered in 3D, some fine adjustments were required to make sure the 2D drawing of the character fits seemingly into the perspective of the scene. In Act 1, write all th three poems for Sayori. So we went the Sayori route and we still didn't get it. The first concept sketch of Monica CG in Act 3, the angle was soon adjusted to be straight on to give the impression that the player is sitting directly across from Monica. In Act 3, delete Monica's character file before she begins her monologues. <laughs> That's cool. Hmm. I wasn't actually trying to do that, I just thought it was uh, something to try. A sketch of Sayori's initial character design drawn by that person. In Act 1, call Sayori for help during Natsuki and Yuri's argument. We did do that. A sketch page by David to test and compare different hairstyles for Sayori. In Act 1, tell Sayori you would still walk home with her. Okay. Uh, a, sing a simple character sheet of Natsuki initial design drawn by that person again. In Act 2, experience Natsuki's play with me scene. <laughs> Nice. Hey, we got a new one. Uh, artwork drawn by that person to celebrate Monica's birthday in 2020. Delete Monica for the second time. Yeah, so it remembers that we've done a first playthrough already. That's I'm that's what I'm concerned as is it it needs you would need to get all the pictures. That's something we're not gonna be doing then. That sucks though. Well, hey, at least we got to see series stuff. We got to see Natsuki's yeah. jump scare. So that wasn't a complete loss, but I was hoping that that, that was the part we were shooting for. All right, fine. Hang on. I want to see what that what song is. Mon or not Monica's. Uh, that's series. That's series. Other song. Where's uh? I'm trying to find the one where Yuri's dead. Does she not have one? There's the. Oh, I want to point out, by the way, the song called Play With Me is when the when Mon or when Natsuki's like, Play With Me or whatever, That this song is actually slowed down to sound creepy. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, but yeah. So yeah, guys, I guess next time we are finally moving on to the side stories, which makes me a little concerned because we're missing one of them. Uh, I'll have to maybe, if it comes to it, I'll look up how to get it. But uh, yeah, next time is uh, Trust, which is uh, pretty cool. And, uh, I'm, like I said, after this point, I have no clue what's coming. So, everyone could die, everyone could not. I don't know what's coming. So, I guess we'll just have to see. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. And, uh, we'll see you guys for the side stories.